Hey everyone! In today's episode, we're going to learn how to use the Corona Select Material. When we are working on personal or client projects, we might need to test different materials for the same object. There are multiple ways we can achieve this, like creating duplicates of the object or saving the material in one of the material slots. But a quick and the best way to achieve this is by using the Corona Select Material. We're going to start by pressing the M button to open the Material Editor. In the Material Map browser, open the Materials Corona tab and drag and drop the Corona Select Material shader. This shader has only a couple of options. We can change the number of materials by increasing or decreasing the material count. The maximum number of materials we can have is 100. However, for more than 24, we need to use MatScript and the minimum number of materials is one. For this example, we're going to change it to four. To change the selected material, press the radio button next to the number. And to assign a new material, press the none button or drag and drop a new material to the node or to the button. After this, assign the Corona select material to the object. One of the advantages of using this shader is the possibility of animating the radio button. This will allow us to render an animation sequence and select different materials for the objects on each of the frames. To do this, we're going to select the Auto Key button. We can see that the time slider and the screen highlights change it to a red color. This means we can set the keys automatically. Starting on frame zero, select the zero radio button to select the first material. Then move the slider to frame number one and select the material number one. As we have the auto key selected, we can see how the keys are created automatically. We're going to follow the same steps for material number two and number three. After we finish, we can see how moving the frames is going to change the selected material. To finish, press the auto key button to deselect it. If you have made a mistake, then follow the same steps to fix it. If we change the frames manually after creating them, it's going to trigger an error and the materials will be shifted. That can be fixed by selecting material zero back to frame zero. To finalize, we can render a sequence from frame zero to frame three by selecting the range option in the common parameters time output. Don't forget to save your render output and after a few minutes or hours, depending on your scene, we can see how the different materials have been rendered with almost no input. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.